things with like Saffron and Dominican. I loved her. Really? Yeah, I really got on with her. She was actually fine on holiday. It is nice to hear that you were all like civil with Saffron because I think for a while I've been thinking to myself like, why are we awkward with each other? And I feel like it was a long time since me and Saffron fell out and a lot has happened since and I just don't feel as angry as I used to like two years ago. Do you know what I mean? It's done. Look at I think... this mature Chloe. I know, I Can we just appreciate that? this? When you first met me, I was 18. I'm now 21, girls. Ooh. She's grown. Oh, my God. Throwing the age about. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is weird. <laughs> you know what, I've just been thinking, it's been a while since we spoke, and obviously I know the last time we spoke was at the chip shop. So <laughs> I finally collected the chips that I fucked up two years ago. <laughs> it's me wrapping there. So it is, yeah. <laughs> and I just wanted to speak to you, really. Like, I know we've spoke briefly, like, been all right, but slightly awkward, but I don't know, maybe I'm growing up, so. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> took a while. Have you took any advice on board in the time? You know what it is? Like, I sat there and I just thought to myself, like, the reason we're, we're not speaking is because something that happened two years ago. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think at the time when you was giving me advice, I'm not saying that the advice you was giving me was wrong because it wasn't, but I think it was something that I didn't want to hear. Do you know what I mean? And it was hard for yeah. me. Yeah. And listen, Chloe, you know I always loved you. The advice probably was given in the wrong way, hence why the umbrella come flying <laughs> and made you in front of your mum. But I think it was a shame. Yeah. I have been worried about you. I have asked about you. I've asked Chloe and Courtney about you because generally I do care about you, Chloe. Yeah, we've said a few things. We've called each other things, but <laughs> it's all funny. I mean, we, at least we can laugh about it. You were so good for me in a really bad time in my life, and that means a lot. Oh, I don't want to get upset. That means a lot to me. Listen, don't get upset. We've all... Chloe, I'll get upset, cos you're getting upset. Just keep going down this path. You're on it, but stay on it. Listen, I won't get carried away and start making up of everyone. <laughs> Just the people that need it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. So how are you? Yeah, I mean, I've definitely had, like, better days. We go back years mm -hmm. and genuinely we were best friends. He was, yeah. And I was always there for you, no matter what, no matter the ups and downs, I was always there. Mm -hmm. And then obviously the birthdays, the events and stuff started coming up, I weren't getting invites. Mm -hmm. I was there from day dot, and now you're at your top, mm -hmm. I ain't nowhere to be seen. I'm sorry? I honestly just don't know, like, where we go from here. I, I'm genuinely sorry if you felt that way, and yeah. it's not the case at all. Like, yeah. the only time I found it awkward, really, was at Courtney's birthday. But yeah. I just felt like the person I saw there, I don't really know that person, do you know? Because I've never seen you be like that. Listen, I've always been quite feisty. You but... are feisty, but you're not nasty. No, I'm not nasty. Like yeah, was... I'm not nasty. I think nasty. what Amber doesn't understand is, and I'm not here to speak on her behalf at all, is more, why aren't you two OK either? I think that's what she's yeah. confused about. There is issues there, and there's reasons why. I feel a certain type of way from her. Mm -hmm. whether, that's in, whether that's our friendship group. Do you feel slightly uncomfortable being around me because of your friendship group now? No one tells me who I can be friends with and who I can't be friends with. Listen, all of this petty stuff is really, really insignificant with what's going on 100%. at the moment. Yeah. I'm glad that me and you have spoken. It would be nice to like speak to you more. Things clean are going to be fun. It's a clean slate. Yeah. yeah. Start afresh. You sound awful. I know I do. It's I quite know. sexy though, the huskiness. I is like it, it sexy though? What do I sound like Marge Simpson? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no. like, is it? I think it's sexy, honestly. Oh, I'm just like, I don't feel the best at the moment anyway, I'm not gonna lie. Like even the other day I was like sunbathing with Elma and she's like, asking me about my business. And like I don't want to talk about it because like it's not going on anymore. Yeah, no, that's, that's what fine. I mean. Like, this, is fine. this is fine, this happens, it happens with me. I had a clothing brand and it lasted a couple of months and then I shut it down. I it's too. Like, yeah. so rubbish, like. I put so much into that and I really wanted it to do really well. You, you put too much pressure on yourself. Yeah, you do. You're never going to excel on the first thing you ever do because it's all trial and error. And there's part of me that just feels embarrassed. No, don't feel embarrassed. Who cares? Like, obviously, we had this massive launch and the brand was, like, doing amazing on our first job. It sold out. 
and then there was just like miscommunication between like everyone that was involved for our second drop and they just didn't want to continue. I'm such a proud person and like I wanted it to go really well and I, I genuinely thought it was going to do amazing. It wasn't meant to be yeah. and that is fine. Like something else will be, will come and it will be meant for you. Yeah. We love you, Chloe. We, we think you need a sweaty hug. Oh, yeah. I'm very sweaty. Oh, my God. So, obviously, we're all going to the beach tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. The sun's going to be out. Love all going? All together? Wait. All going. I love the beach. I love it. I, I love the seaside. Much. Anything about the seaside. And I is love rides. Should we, should we lose these two at the beach or what? Is that what you want to do? Oh, oh great. Oh, I feel like you're flirting. <laughs> this is definitely flirting. I feel like this is flirting. Um, Wait, how did your date go? Girls, like... <sighs> fill us in. It was just really awkward. Like, he's a lovely boy, but I just felt like he'd come on really, really strong. Like... We was obviously at the table and he was like, let's get a picture together, which I didn't think anything of until he posted it on social media. Oh. We looked like a couple. It was a cute pic. So, yeah, if you've been together six months, Colt, while we was out, like, this person walked past that was selling roses and he bought me, like, the whole bunch, which was really nice. Oh. That is so nice. It was nice, but just felt so full-on, so intense. Lovely, thank you for that. Thank you for posting that picture to every fucking person. And now they think we're in a relationship. Maybe he just thought he was saying and doing all the things you would want him to. Do you know what I mean? He's probably quite aware that you have been with, like, the wrong types of boys before, so he was trying to be the right type of boy for you. He thought that that's what you wanted. Would Don't... you give him one more chance? No. He's going to be the perfect boy for the right girl. You yeah, can just tell. Like, he is lovely, 100%. but it's just not you. But also, I just feel like we met up the next day and we went for, like, a bit of lunch, and I just basically said to him, like, I just feel like you've come on a little bit too strong. Like, I feel like he's got... I'm little... giving you the ick already. He's... No, I'm going to be honest, like, massively. Like, and the thing is, I would never want to be nasty to him because he's a nice person, but he's just not for me at all. But have you said to him, like, can we just leave it as friends? Uh, I think, like, we sort of left it a bit open at lunch, so I, I think... think... you need to actually set the record straight. Yeah. Hi. Hi. You OK? Yeah, you OK? Yeah, I'm good. I got you a bad. coffee. Thank you. Appreciate it. You look lovely, you all right? Yeah, good, thank you. Oh, been a while. I know. <laughs> obviously, I know the last time we spoke mm. was in Southend, and obviously, like, we just said how, like... I don't know, I said oh, oh, I thought you was a bit full on and stuff, and yeah. obviously I do respect you like taking a step back and yeah, stuff. Of course. Like mm. I hope you don't think I was being rude no, in South End because like I would never want to be rude to you no. or make you feel uncomfortable. I just think it just moves a bit quick. Yeah, do you course. know what I mean? Like it was literally like seven days no, and no. then like there was pictures on social media. There was quite a lot, like yeah, it was course. quite quick. It was it was a intense couple of days. Do you yeah, know what I, mean? I mean, you know, it was a bit much. I just think like moving forward. Like me and you could just be friends. All day long. Like I don't want it to be awkward between us. No, of course. Uh, listen, I'm, that's why I'm here now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm never gonna be awkward with you. You know yeah. what I'm like. Yeah. I'm friends of all the girls. You know. Listen, we had fun for seven days. Oh yeah, I mean? yeah, we got along <laughs> you know, for seven days. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And we still get along. We ain't yeah, gonna fall out. Cool. We was having a laugh. We was having a good time. That's why we had fun. We haven't got to make it into something it wasn't. We had we had some fun. And listen, it's it's a thing of the past. But we're we're friends. Yeah. Like, you have said a few times that like, we had a bit of fun and stuff like that. It's just that word is, like, it's sort of getting my back up a little bit because I don't really know what you mean by that. Like, we were speaking for seven days. Yeah. Did you, did when, you have a laugh? I mean, it's just... I just feel like that phrase could be open to interpretation. I feel like... What sort you, of interpretation? Well, I just feel like if you've been saying that to people that would not... Like, we had a bit of fun. We were... It's just... It was nothing. We were speaking for seven days. Which is... Which is... Went on one night out and that... I just think you're pretending to be stupid. Like, you know what you're saying. I'm not... I'm saying we had a bit of fun. You know what you're saying. Like, no, I'm not. You do. No, no one else could interpret that. I think that's in your head. Uh, no, because I would hope you wouldn't be because nothing happened between us. We were speaking for seven no. days and went on which, one night which, out. Which I, I know. Do okay. you know what I mean? We, we did yes. go out. We did have fun. Like, OK, I'm going to go because I yeah. just can't bother this conversation. Like, right. I just think it's a bit weird. Really? It's very strange, yeah. Really? really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> you know, obviously I'm excited for the party, but the only thing I'm not excited about is seeing the other group. I mean... I'm not excited about that. The <laughs> person I do want to speak to is definitely Junaid. I think it's like, you know, obviously the last time we spoke, things were quite amicable because I sort of give him a chance. What I'm saying that was. I know, yeah, what it was. Because <laughs> now, obviously, knowing the way he spoke to you girls, I just think he's took the piss and I'm not going to let it go now. None of us have actually done anything to him. He's got literally oh, nothing to say about us other than, like, we're boring and that's oh, it. Like, but I'd love to. What makes us boring? When he was going out with us like every weekend a few years ago, we oh, certainly weren't boring, so then. Weren't boring <laughs> then. Bloody hell, sick of all the emotions.
Harry, I can't believe you're wearing that from all things no, you know, to this you know, event. You know, honestly, like literally, I've burnt myself today. I Look actually there. can't believe it. Look. What? This is why you can't be out in the sun. I've actually, like, honestly, probably, probably burnt myself. Hi, you okay? Hi, Chloe. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Good, how are good. you? Yeah, good, just very windy. Little elf? I oh, know, I'm a little elf today. <laughs> it good? is, I should put my hair by my ears and I can't. Oh. Um, you know what, Harry, I'm so sorry. Would I be able to have a chat with you tonight? Yeah, of course you can. You're okay, you. but I'll yeah. see you in a bit. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 You all right? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good, Bubs. Good. How's it with you? Um, I just wanted to have a chat with you, Janae, because I think, obviously, the last time we spoke, everything was fine. Yeah. And I just think, since then, like, a few things have happened. You know, shouting at the girls and stuff like that, like, starting on Chloe Meadows' personality. I just think it was a low blow, Janae, I really okay. do. Obviously, we both know, like, there's issues with our friendship groups. Do you know what I mean? I like, understand. Mm -hmm. I was upset, obviously, with the videos that were put up on Instagram about Danny. You guys have to be mindful as well, like, that is my best friend. But you're not mindful, Janae. You know? The talent show, you're sitting there pointing at us, guy, and these friends uh, keep talking. You, I was sitting on the sofa. Yeah, but Chloe, this is after, after things have been said. But Janae, I've sat there for so long and sat there and said, I love being the bitch. It's so fun. Yeah. There's no way in the world you love being the bitch. There's no way. I, One day you you're going to lay in bed and you're going to walk into a room full of people and you're going to feel lonely because you've caused drama with people for but, absolutely no reason. But and it's Chloe, sad. I would rather be lonely than be in a group full of fake girls. You're walking around with, like, you know, this bad like, I am so a bad bitch, no, I'm proud of it. Persona, I'm it's, a bad bitch, but deep down, and you know also, I'm a lovely person. But you're not acting like that. This is so rich, coming from you. What have I done? Your track, what have I done? Listen, Chloe. My track record, and I understand that, and I've grown, history. and I've worked from it, Janae, and I'm okay, trying good, to tell I'm you. Bad. Do you need Chloe, to work on it? you're like my minor. I don't need you're life minor. lessons from you, No, Janae, darling. but what you do Remember, need to Remember, I was there for you and helped you through a lot. And what are you And gave you advice about your life and everything. Just remember that, hun. Once upon a time, you was a nice person. Person. You worked in a bank, you're happy. Manager, yeah. Exactly. Had, yeah, you're intelligent, that's what I'm saying. 100%. And then all of a sudden you quit, you're dressing up like a used tampon and pointing at people oh, in a talent God. show. It's embarrassing to you know. Your opinion is as, as irrelevant as you are in my life, my darling. That's fine. You do what you want, I don't care. At least now we know that things aren't fine between us. No. Nope. You know, unless it was a bit of a grey area before, wasn't it? Because she was yeah. so far away. Yeah. A bit blurry. Okay, so I'm going to go. Have a lovely night, enjoy today, and Good. goodbye. Bye then. See you later, hon. Bye.